Incentives that the Indian government has announced for displays and semiconductor manufacturing companies is a very good move. Now, the most important thing here that I see is that India wants to have its own semiconductor fabrication plant. Now, let's take a quick look at what is the scene today for semiconductors. So, just I'm trying to give you a big picture thing here. So, just go with me on this one. The biggest Semiconductor manufacturer in the world is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation or TSMC and it is based in Sinchu, science based park in Sinchu, Taiwan. Sinchu is about 60 kilometers south of Taipei, just to give you some idea about the place, location, and so on and so forth. Now, it is valued at 538 billion today. The cap capitalization is 538 billion dollars today and it employs close to 53,000 people. This is just the semiconductor plant. You got that right. 53,000 people, a lot of people. And the most important thing is the Shinchu ecosystem, where it's a big science park. This is one of the biggest supporters of that because you have all these satellite companies, you know, cottage industries or small industries, which provide various tools, etching, cleaning, CBD, chemical vapor deposition companies. So when somebody puts up a semiconductor fab plant, it has enormous scope for creating additional jobs. And these are all very well paid jobs because a semiconductor plant requires investment to the tune of $10 billion minimum to even start getting things off the ground. So be that as it may, the most important thing here is that India has decided to get some level of Atma Nirbharta for its semiconductor needs. Remember that China is weaponizing semiconductors. By that what I mean is China is trying to restrict fab supply to companies and, and, and trying to create an artificial shortage for chips because without chips many of the electronics won't work in fact sometimes even your electric bulb requires uh, some electronics in it like Wi-Fi where you can control it using uh, either uh, Alexa or something like that so all these things are trying to be uh, controlled by China so other than Taiwan which other company is manufacturing fabs Samsung does it but Samsung uses it for itself Intel does it, Intel uses it for itself, and Toshiba, you can get a third party stuff done at Toshiba, however, Toshiba, this is based in Japan, tends to be a little bit expensive. South Korea also has Hynix as a company that does this. Again, these are not in the league or scale or the efficiency of perhaps TSMC, which is wholly devoted for third party companies such as Qualcomm, you understand. I mean, somebody who makes a semiconductor design can get it fabbed at TSMC. So, what does this mean as far as the Indian engineering workforce is concerned? A fab requires many, many electronic engineers, electrical engineers, control engineers, chemical engineers, mechanical engineers. So, it kind of uh, passes gamut of all the different engineering disciplines they also need people with physics degrees and so on and so forth because when you start uh, you know miniaturizing you need to start looking at how the physics of the atom works i have worked for a few years in semiconductor fab equipment companies and i know how difficult it is and a lot of phds a lot of brain power that goes into making sure that the process is efficient However, there is one aspect that India needs to pay very, very important attention to, and that is preserving and maintaining the security of an installation like this. In my opinion, if India allows somebody to put up a semiconductor fab plant, they need to give it the same kind of security as they would an army installation, because if it gets sabotaged, because I can tell you India has many internal saboteurs and some of these kids will tell people on in, via my comment line that oh this guy is a US citizen so what I was born in India India is one of my eyes the other one being US so this is just a statement 
And I know people will come back and give me some snarky comments. Most important thing here is security is very important. Why? Because there is a history of this. 1984, India started its own semiconductor complex limited in Chandigarh or near Chandigarh. And the place burnt down in 1989. They were actually making some chips. So whatever India understood for making of chips in that era, the whole thing got completely gutted. Till now, I have not seen anyone being arrested or any report being put out by the government as to what really happened, how the sapphire was set to. I, I can tell you India tends to be very blasé about security and these are all important things. I think every Indian needs to understand that many people, they, they are jealous of India's growth in semiconductors, growth as a, a country and, and therefore I urge the government to make sure that the security for any semiconductor display related plant is extremely tight and high. I'm hearing some horror stories about who is being hired as security guards. This is something that should not be taken lightly. It cannot be third person individuals such as P Guru's channel telling that, oh, in this particular campus, this particular group is from this particular country, not from India. They have not been vetted. Don't go by the lowest price provider for security purposes. You can't, you, so you, you get the point. India leaks like a sieve. Some is intentional, some is unintentional. Take care and to make sure that the companies that invest have the kind of security that they need. In fact, if you want, maybe you can even have them do this uh, checking and put their own security systems in place. I think India needs to just step aside, give them the place, give them the potential, give them the guaranteed resources like water and electricity, both of which they need to have it in continuous supply. And I hope that this will work out. It is extremely critical that India get its own semiconductor story up and running. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Namaskar.